I just watched. I just watched a fucking nail biting basketball game. Holy shit. Bro, if you missed. If you missed the Atlanta Hawks Boston Celtics game just now, it was a porn burner. Holy shit. Uh, welcome to the show, guys. Uh, do me a favor. We are live on Rumble, YouTube, a bunch of places. Hit the up fingers. Make sure you're following the channel and share it out on your social media. That helps me out a lot, too. Uh, consider supporting the show by going to revengeofthesis.com slash Nightwave. Your one-stop shop where you can support the show directly. Remember, this show is 100% fan-supported, so uh, I can't do it without you guys. Once again, revengeofthesis.com slash Nightwave. Holy shit. That was nuts. Uh, it is Thursday night. I'm having some intermittent internet issues. Uh, so we're going to try to get through tonight's show, but... Um, I've already been disconnected twice. And it's definitely not Restream. It's not Rumble. It's definitely my internet. Because uh, I was also... Uh, my, my feed was cutting out as well when I was watching the game on the... Totally legal stream that Jim Enward gave me a while back. What a fucking nail biter that was. Holy shit. So yeah, it was uh it was Hawks fucking uh Celtics. And the Hawks were like overwhelming underdogs. And I don't know what it was, but I had a good feeling about the Hawks. So I said, "Fuck it, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bet on the Hawks, right?" Um, I had Hawks Pelicans tonight, both of them underdogs. I don't know why. I I don't know why the the, the Bucks are favored over the fucking Pelicans, but whatever. Easy bet, right? Ten dollars, a two way parlay, and if the two underdogs win, I win one hundred and ninety four bucks. Well, um. If you bet on the Celtics, holy shit, you must have had a heartbreaking night. That was, bro, I literally was watching. It was just the bu the, bla the buzzer was right as I was coming live. Right as my music was ending and I was just like, oh shit, we got the, the intro was playing. And I was watching as with six seconds left, down by one in overtime. And I go, there's no fucking way. There's no way the Hawks pull this out. I'm like, there's no fucking way. And I mean, a just a one buzzer beater shot right at the end. Boom, bomb, bing. Uh, just turned all my sports betting around tonight. Because I was down. I lost like NCAA bets and uh, losing fucking uh, NHL bets. And I'm just like, wow. And then fucking they came through for me tonight. What a fuck. Bro, that was an exciting ass game. That was an exciting ass fucking game. I think the lead changed like 32 times throughout the game. But yeah, that was um probably the this is going to probably be one of the best two-way parlays I've ever done. I mean, fucking literally 200 bucks for 10 bucks. And you know, all I got to pick is two teams. They're just underdogs. I had no idea they were going to fucking pull that out. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm still waiting. Uh, shout out to the Edmonton Oilers. They're doing good for me tonight. Need the Avalanche to pull it out. I still need the Predators. I need, still need Seattle. I need the Tar Heels to win tonight in basketball. I need the Golden Knights. I need Minnesota to win in hockey. But uh, I'm really excited about this because the Pelicans are up by 10. So as long as they pull out against the Bucks, this is going to be the craziest bet uh, I've ever pulled off. A fucking $10 bet, $194 payout. Yeah, boy. But yeah, that was a fucking 
Dude, that was one of the craziest endings to a game I've ever seen. They won by one point. Anyway, let's get after it. It's Friday. No, it's not Friday night. It's Thursday night. Uh, and we've got some stuff we're going to get into. And we're going to get drunk together. Uh, I can't just be drinking on that red breast. It's too fancy. So I got a little mini. I got a little 375 JMO tonight to, uh, to sustain me. Let's have our first fucking drink of the night. And let's get after it. Um, this guy fucking rules. Okay, so uh, I haven't done body cam footage in a while. And this fucking guy. Ooh, this fucking guy. If I can find it. Where's where's my guy? Where's 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 the, the, the guy? The, the, the guy? The guy? Um, I can't do that. I, that's they, even though that's an Arrested Development bit, everyone's gonna say I'm having another stroke. Uh, where is it? Where's where's my uh, where's my uh, there he is. Okay, so this guy is probably the most Jewish man I've ever seen get arrested. Uh, Mitch Mayhem said, "Damn, I haven't seen you around in a while. Hope you're good, dude." Yeah, I am. I'm around every night on Rumble. I'm live on Rumble. You got to come over to Rumble. Come over to the dark side, sir. It's where it's at. Over there on Rumble. Uh, anyway. This is the most Jewish man I've ever seen get arrested. And I, I was like, this has to be in Florida, right? And sure enough, you find out very quickly this guy is in Florida. Um, this is... He, you're going to come to find out very quickly that this guy is a CEO. And he will remind you of it many times. So this is in Martin County, Florida. This is like just north. Like it's literally immediately north of uh, Palm Beach County. It's a very small, sleepy little county. You don't really, you know, not a lot happens in uh, Martin County, Florida. But it's right next to Palm Beach. So they get a lot of that overflow trash. So uh, this is a, uh, well, we'll just like. Vehicle committing multiple traffic infractions. Hello, Deputy Hines with the Sheriff's Office. Can I get your license, registration, and insurance, please? Put the drink down. I need your license. Put the drink. Ma'am. Excuse you. I need your license, your registration, and insurance. But don't be a bully. You're a bully. And I don't like woman bullies. He doesn't like woman bullies. Now you're gonna come to find out. This guy. Um. Look. I, I get it, bro. We all hate bitches, right? We all hate these we all hate these broads. They drive us nuts. But this guy you're gonna come to find really hates women. Period. This guy hates women cops the way that uh you know he she's gonna look in my ass. Today, sir. I am going to my doctor client. Ma'am, and guess what? You're messing with the wrong person. Okay, sounds good. I need your registration and your insurance, please, sir. My insurance is on my phone. Okay, I need your registration. I'll take my sweet time. It's fine. You bully me, you're done. So you don't know why you. You know, this guy reminds me of right out the jump. This guy. <laughs> no! No, you go. I'm not going anywhere, shithead. Get the fuck out of my neighborhood. Get out! You're no artist, you suck. You're no you artist. You're a piece of shit, you can't even play. You suck, I've been playing 41 years. You suck. I'm a left handed guitarist, you suck. No! No! Even if he sucks, you know, it's like you're not going to encourage people to get into music if you just do this. Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! Get out! I love how angry this man gets. <laughs> Go to a studio and rehearse. <clears throat> you don't know why I stopped you? What? You don't know why? What? I'm asking you. I have no idea why okay. I stopped you. 
because you're passing, and then no passing, sir. No, twice I, I you did. Middle lane. No, sir. It, no, sir. It's not. It's a breakdown it's lane. Beach. Yellow. In Del Delaware Beach. You're no, the pass. not in Florida. Delaware Beach is in Florida, sir. Yeah. You are not allowed to pass on a double solid yellow line or I double apologize. solid breakdown okay. line, sir. Oh, he's about. To, he was about to say the uh, the the all time greatest thing to tell a cop when you go. Uh, actually, I am allowed to do that. And when they go, no, you're not. It's actually against the law. And you go, he was about to go, I, I do it all the time. He was about to say, I do it all the time. <laughs> I love when people do that. Don't ever say that. Don't ever say that to cops. Uh, they, they don't like that. They don't like when you say, I do it all the time. Anyway, I have no respect for the law. Sir, you did it twice. I gave you the pass on the first one, and then you did it again. I have no points. It doesn't matter, sir. I need your registration, you please, sir. I need your registration, I'm please, sir. Okay. We'll give you everything. Okay. Still have on. I need your registration, please, sir. Registration, sir. I am behaving, sir. Do not believe me. Do not raise your voice at me, sir. Do not believe me. I've asked you several times for your registration, sir, and your insurance. You're bullying me. I don't like you. I really don't like you because you're you're not a good officer. Okay. I'll, I'll speak to you. I like that she's just like, okay, that's fine. I just need your insurance. Come on. Superior. That's fine. Dogzilla said, don't bully me. I'll come. <laughs> there we go. We got the come joke right out to jump. He's growling. He's growling. He's so Jewish, he's growling. So when the little yellow sticker comes on, sir. Ma'am, ma'am, just don't tell me what to do. <laughs> this guy's a hothead. I'm trying to help you find no, paperwork, I, sir. I have everything here. I'm a CEO. I'm All right, so that's the first one. You're going to come to find he loves reminding everybody that he's a CEO. I'm tired. I work part-time. It's hot. It's frustrating when people do 30 or 20 miles an hour. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm a CEO. I'm tired. I work part time. When they are going on a 40 mile an hour speed limit, doing 20 miles an hour. You can't. Yeah, Tolkien studies. Oh, you're a CEO. I'm sorry. You're free to go. Here you go, ma'am. Yeah, like Sasha Banks, CEO, CEO. Okay, That's so you're insurance. handing me your That's cell phone. Insurance. Okay. And now you the only part-time CEO is Mercedes Monet. You want my registration? Yes, yeah, sir. Here you go. Uh, Jim Enward said, "I think we've already seen this, so we know. Most of us have anyway." Well, I'm sorry, Jim. You fucking cunt. Put your cell phone back, sir. I don't want to hold on to it. Don't just drop it. Hand it to me. You were looking you just, for paperwork. Yo, is New Orleans really going to drop a 10-point lead? Yeah, no, I sir, you. I did not. It's on camera. I did not, sir. I placed it down on well, your why ad. Why don't you just give it to me? Like a, a you're woman for should... Information. Like a woman so, should give the phone to Can I get your registration, man. please, sir? Like the woman should... That's not even like... Sir. Sir. I love misogyny as much as the next guy, but I, I can't even... Like, I, I can't even fucking think of any biblical passage or any, like, ancient tomes that say that the woman should hand the man a cell phone. You know what? You're dealing with the wrong man. Okay, I'm sir. a CEO. Okay. I'm intelligent. I have the best. There it is. He's a CEO. He's intelligent. Best attorneys in the world. He has the best attorneys in the world. Not the best car, though. And you're messing with... It's not a very CEO car. And by the way, the pinstriping on a car is very passe. The okay, wrong sir. human being. Okay. Give me a fucking ticket. <laughs> My registration is somewhere here, but I can't find it. I don't know why in Florida, like, you don't really need your registration. Like, I mean, you do. They could ticket you for it. I don't know how many times I've not had my registration on me or I couldn't find it. Right. Um, 
the good thing about Florida is, like, not every state does this, but in Florida, we got the stickers. You know what I mean? So, worst case scenario, worst case Ontario, uh, they'll see the sticker and they'll see you're fine. I, I, I never understood the fucking... I really don't understand the whole fucking thing about it, registration. It's like, my car's registered. Just look at the plate. The plate is the DMV. It's got the sticker on it. It's the state. You work for the state. You can clearly look me up and see that my car is registered. Uh, Q. Bertmo, I've been ticketed in Jacksonville for not having registration. That seems dumb. I mean, I have my, like, nowadays I'm more organized than I used to be, but... I used to like just not have, um, you know, my red, like the little paper thing. It's like I have the sticker on the thing. Um, it's an old hangover. They go by their computers anyway, Tolkien study. So that's what I mean. They just, they just, honestly, I guess maybe I just never had a cop that wanted to break my balls over it. You can tell if my car's registered. Go home. Go, you don't have your registration with Go home. I there, had my registration okay, with me. Can I please have it so you're supposed to provide it? <laughs> you're a fucking bitch. <laughs> I gotta see that again. <laughs> You can tell if my car's registered. Go home. Go so you don't have your registration car. with you? I have my registration okay, can with I me. Can I please have it so you're supposed to provide it? You're a fucking bitch. <laughs> Bro, this guy. I... Yo, there's nothing funnier than impotent boomer rage. I've said this before on the show, you know, when you see like abusive, like, you know, boomers and like, you know, the people that puff their chest out, right? Like these guys that they've spent their whole lives bullying their children at home and bullying their wives, bullying women and just bullying women and kids basically, right? And the reason you don't want to spend your whole life doing that is because eventually we all become old and frail. And our rage becomes ever more impotent over time. I love impotent boomer rage. It's the funniest thing to me. When a boomer tries to start being like, yeah, you, you fucker, you want to go? And you're like, sir, you're four foot 11. I will, I would fucking fart on you and you'd fall apart. Yeah, their entire staff as well. Yeah, exactly. People that work for them. They spent their whole life bullying people that are too scared to do anything. And now that they're like these angry old boomers and they're just like with their fucking, you know, with their be with their belly and their fucking receding hairlines and they're getting old. And it's like, what are you going to do, old man? What are you going to do, old man? I'll smack the shit out of you. You ain't going to do nothing. That female cop will smack the shit out of you. By the way, HCE has a good point. Clean out your glove box occasionally. This is another thing I don't understand. I I've watched enough of these videos with fucking police, you know, pulling people over. Who, why, why do, why do some people drive around with like Alex Jones level of documents in their car? Like you can see clearly this guy's got like two months worth of mail in his, in his glove box. Maybe just have, like my shit's ready at all times, right? I got my center console. I pop that open, right? I got the little, you know, the double center console, right? So you have like the big, the big old bucket that you can lift up and it's got, you just throw change in there and fucking whatever. And then you have like the flap that opens up on, you know, like where the, you know what I'm talking about, where you have like the thinner layer with the felt and uh, felt it, dude. And it's like, that is where I keep my registration and my insurance card. It's always right there, right? And there's nothing else in there. And that's how you have it ready. Um, I occasionally throw shit in my glove. Glove box is the word. By, by the way, stop keeping your shit in your glove box. Um, oh, 
Oh God, you know what this reminds me of? There's this TikTok thing that's actually, I, I hate TikTok trends, but sometimes they're pretty funny. Um, have you guys seen the showing the officer my wallet meme? It's one of the funniest memes that I've ever seen. So they use this song, this stupid pop, old pop song. And this is literally, this is one of the funniest memes I've ever seen. And most TikTok shit is trash, right? But this is very funny. This is the uh, me hurrying to give the officer my wallet. And it's like everyone has a different version of it, but it's all about rushing to comply with the police and it not being very good uh, for self-preservation. So this is like a good, this is like the best one. Me hurrying to give the officer my wallet from my gym bag to not waste this time. <laughs> That's why you don't fuck around with the glove box. Have it in your center console. I pop the center console. I always have ID, registration, insurance between my two fingers hands on the fucking thing so when they come up to the window i roll the window down and they go license registration insurance and i go right there it's right between my fingers all three boom yeah this <laughs> these are amazing these are amazing uh let's see there's some black guy ones that are really funny let me see <laughs> me telling the cop i can't go out like this it's supposed to rain later. <laughs> Me telling the cops you about to get shot as I reach for my phone at top speed to record this unlawful stop. You're about to get shot. <laughs> these are the fucking... Bro, I've been watching these lately. And they fucking kill me, dude. And there's like a billion different ones on the internet. <laughs> and the shit never gets old. Me telling the cops I'm a pure shooter. Then quickly grabbing my basketball out of the trunk to demonstrate my skills. Oh, and it's always the same song. <laughs> These are really great. <clears throat> me telling the officer your time as a cop is over as I quickly throw my backpack filled with enough money to retire him early. Me telling the cop he'll never see the light of day again. I give him my sunglasses. <laughs> and it's always people aiming things at the cop. It's so fucking sweet. Me telling the officer I'm strapped up so he knows I was wearing my seatbelts. <laughs> Even just aiming the seatbelt at him. Triple N said the song is so perfect. I will say, dude, there is, and I, I know I'm going to get flamed for saying this, when done right, when done right, there is a beauty to TikTok. You know what I mean? Most TikTok, it's just fake airplane videos and like a lot of fake, like a lot of AI generated horse shit, a lot of just fake made up stories, all bullshit. But every once in a while, like, you know, and then there's like the, Hey, the punch an old man, a punch a World War II vet in the jaw challenge. And you're like, all right, we could be better as a society. But every once in a while, like a creative thing will, will start. And it's, it's, it is when it's used right, TikTok can be a beautiful thing. <laughs> Let's see another. Me telling the cops, relax, I'm just getting my ID as I reach for my loaded firearm to turn him into Swiss cheese. <laughs> Sir, I don't think you get how the challenge goes. Giving the officer my wallet as fast as possible to save him time. This was the first one I ever saw. 
This was the, the first one I ever saw on on uh, on like the YouTube shorts or the TikTok was uh, this one. Giving the officer my wallet as fast as possible to save him time. <laughs> I just wanted to give this officer my wallet as quick as possible and get past this embarrassing moment. He's drinking a Mick Ultra in his car. <laughs> I love the I love this this fucking trend of aiming your wallet at a cop. <laughs> Me telling the cop you're not going home tonight as I reach in my pocket for a vacation I booked him. Why did you have to ruin the format, sir? Me yeah, this is the this was the first one I ever saw. Me giving the officer my wallet as it's the same black guy. The seatbelt. <laughs> this was the first one I ever saw. The giving him my wallet as fast as possible. This guy did a bunch of them. <laughs> I love the look at his look at his face. Look at his face. This guy is amazing. Like, this is the best version of this because he even looks just bogged out of his fucking mind. <laughs> yeah, with the glove box open. Uh, this is probably the best one ever. <laughs> Can you imagine being a cop and dealing with this? Oh, shit, dude. Anyway, sorry. Well. Shut up. Go away. Uh, it just, just reminded me that I'm slamming his fucking... Mersh, this one's highly relevant, Virgie says. I have designed a brand new product called the Wallet Holster. This allows quick and easy access to your wallet. <laughs> and no! you will absolutely not waste another policeman's time ever again. Oh my fucking God, what a terrible idea. This is very funny. <laughs> the Wallet Holster. Walk towards me! Well, get over here! over here! I know right away when it's New Mexico and it's a desert and everyone sounds like this. Walk towards me. Walk towards me, man. Well, get That's very funny. <laughs> but now that song, every time I hear that song, like at a Starbucks or something, all I can think of is people quickly grabbing their wallets for the police officers. <laughs> there we go. Is it over? Did we do it? 107 to 100. New Orleans Pelicans tonight, folks. Holy shit. Oh, my God, bro. I lost on so many sports bets tonight that I pretty much was like, oh, yeah, there's no way I'm going to make this up. Uh, I won it all back on one bet. Well, not quite. Mm, not quite. God damn. By the way, Arizona Wildcats, go fuck yourselves. Don't bet on college kids. They're always going to let you down. Holy shit, we pulled it off, folks. My my that this this is I'm going to say out of out of many bets I've made, I was very proud tonight to not be lazy and just go with the fucking Oh, well, who's the favorite? Yeah, Arizona lost. Um but I was very proud tonight of uh of my my pick of New Orleans Pelicans Atlanta Hawks the Atlanta Hawks were plus 875 look at this look at this Hawks plus 875 way huge underdogs Hawks tonight were my that was my pick I was very proud of cuz nobody had the Atlanta Hawks over the Celtics tonight at all yeah Arizona lost to Clemson fucking faggots um so now i got my pelicans bets and then i've got look at that 10 bucks 194 dollars for a plus 110 and a plus 875 two underdogs tonight but the bucks have let me down and the celtics keep letting me down i had a feeling i had a feeling about the hawks tonight i was like i don't know why uh, but I got a feeling like even though their record's not as good, 
I'm like, I don't know, man. The Celtics have been blowing it lately. But I'm very proud of that bet tonight. That was my that was my big pick. Ten bucks. I should have put more. I should have put twenty bucks. I'd have made like fucking four hundred bucks. That's what you are, huh? There it is. That's the that's the Tolkien said the Celtics were off for two days too. Honestly, I didn't even think of that. That probably would have made me just like hesitate betting the Hawks tonight. But I just had a feeling about Atlanta tonight. I'm like, I don't know, man. It's the other, here's the things. The Hawks aren't that great, but they're pretty good. And the Celtics are really good, but they're a little overrated. Compared to like like you know what I mean I feel I feel like the Hawks are underrated and the Celtics are overrated so. Do you have a card one, sir? You can tell if I'm registered. You know what? Do you Go. have Do you have the current one, I sir? I can't find. Okay, so you, so you're I telling me you don't it. have your current one. I and you're can't not gonna find look for it. The, okay. One more time, I can't find it. Okay. So is everything good with your license, sir? It's not suspended for any reason? I have zero points, bitch. So your license is not I suspended? I have zero points. Okay. Stay in the car. I'll be right back with you, sir. After a short while, the man... Oh, so this gets good. This Jew decided, you know what? I'm a CEO. I don't need to be here. Sped off from the traffic stop. <laughs> he just left. He's like, I'm out of here. Was found at a convenience store. Hell yeah, baby. We're back in the red tonight. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Show me. All right, I'm still down 31 bucks tonight in sports betting. So we got to turn this around. We need a, uh, what do we need? What do we need? What do I need to turn this fucking thing around at least break even tonight? Give me the Oilers to win. Give me the Kraken to win. Uh, if I get, uh, I'll tell you what, give me Kraken, Nashville Predators, Oilers, Colorado Avalanche. I know I'm asking a lot. Even just Kraken, uh, Predators, Oilers. I'll take that. Uh, let me see. Tar Heels are looking good. Iowa State Cyclones looking like shit right now. They're coming. They're coming. The reason why I moved. Nope. I just moved nope. because I'm sick, though. I'm, I want to go to the hospital. Don't resist. I want to go to the hospital. Uh, this is my other favorite thing that everybody does now. That's that's the other thing everybody does now is like, I want to go to the hospital. I want to speak to your supervisor. I want to go to the hospital. That's the two things that everyone thinks they have a right to with cops. I want your supervisor. I want to go to the hospital. It don't work that way, asshole. JJ says, uh, see, uh, cr the Kraken suck. No, they do suck, but they're playing the Anaheim Ducks. So if they can't put them away, I don't know what to tell you. I want right to go now. to the hospital. I want to go to the hospital. Ma'am, I want to. Turn around and put your hands behind I your want back. I'm sick. No. Ma'am, I'm sick. I'm Grab sick. Me one more time. I'm sick. I'm sick. Get I'm sick. Ma'am, I'm sick. Put your hands behind your I'll back. I'll put it behind now. my back. Now. I'm sick. Oh, my God, you're going to be in trouble. I'm going to sue you for everything you got. Yeah, that's the first thing a Jew always threatens. I will sue you for everything you got. Show me 1015. Well, you won't sue her. She has qualified immunity, so. All I did is pull over here so I can get some medicine. I need medicine, ma'am. Oh, man, you're in trouble. 1015. You're in trouble. I need medicine. Take me to the hospital. Take me to the hospital. You're going to stop. I need medicine. There's something wrong with her. She's brutal. She's brutal. She's brutal. She's brutal. We heard you. They kill people this way. Ma'am, I'm a CEO. Number three. Oh my God, she's checking my pockets. You take any money out of my wallet, you're done. <laughs> this fucking guy. Call the head sheriff! Please! Call the head sheriff! Why are Jews always like this? Call the head sheriff! Please! Call the head sheriff! I'm sick! Wait till you find out how sick I am. 
him, ma'am. Stop! Stop. Move! You You're gonna end up on the ground. Do you understand Help. me? Help. 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 This guy Help. rules. Can I have a sheriff, please? Another sheriff, please. I want another sheriff, please. I'm not... No, please! I'm a sheriff! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! She's killing me! Yeah, no, hold on. I want another sheriff here. Have All a I want is another... What is this... I, I got to ask, because I, we've watched some of these videos where somebody wants a supervisor and they'll be like, yeah, he's on his way. Is this a thing? I mean, I'm guessing for a white man, it's probably not. But like, is is this a thing nowadays? Can you demand a supervisor like you're like you're like you're on a customer service call with with Buck and Spectrum and you can just like escalate and get a man? I, I want to speak to your supervisor. Like, what is that about? Do you know how many scenarios I've been where a cop has been an unreasonable fucking ball-breaking prick? You know how you get out of those scenarios? When they're yelling at you and they're giving you shit, you just go, yes, sir. No, you're right. You're right. I shouldn't have been. I was driving pretty quick out there, and you're right. I. You know what? There's no excuse. And even as they continue to yell at you and talk down to you, all you can do is just go, uh-huh. I understand, officer, absolutely. And and you're right. You're right. I, I should be more mindful. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's all. That's all you can do. Um, Cubertimo says, yeah, they have to bring a supervisor out if it's an infraction. Well, then I guess that's just must be, you must live in one of those liberal states. I don't think that works in Florida that way. I don't think in Florida you can just demand to t speak to their manager like Karen. Yeah, Zach Frisbee, the Thomas Murphy method. A cop just says whatever. I'm like, yes, mm-hmm. Yeah, see, Lucas is saying it's not a thing in Florida. Let's go have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. You're killing me. Sit down. <laughs> She's Put your feet him. in oh, now. Sorry. I can't. Put your feet in Ma'am. now. I want to see another sheriff. That's all I want to see. I just put want to see another sheriff. Your I have my feet right. In. I will put it in, but I want to see another now. sheriff. Now. Can't you answer me? Now. Can you answer me? Can I have another sheriff? Is this another resisting charge, no. sir? Then get your butt in the car now. You're hurting me. I'm not. I'm, I'm, get in the she's car. not even I'm so touching sick. him. You can't imagine. I'm going get to the hospital. Get in the car. I'm going to the hospital. Now. Oh, can I see it on the sheriff? Oh, my God. Put your feet in. I have to go to the hospital. I have to. I'm very ill. Ma'am, you're going to get... This is a guy that's just been milking shit his whole fucking life. Lawson, you're going to get a Lawson. Gonna suffer. You have no fucking. You have Maybe no you should have thought about you that no before you drove away I from the traffic the stop. Ten, ten times. Ten times. I don't want to go to the hospital. I 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 think he wants to go to the hospital. You know, it's weird, right? Because like when people are sick, especially older people. They're generally not screaming at the top of their lungs. If you're really sick and you're really dying, like you'd be sitting there like breathing weird. You'd be like, fuck, you know what I mean? Flem Dog said, put the heater on for him. That would be fucking fantastic. I want to go to the hospital. I can smell the alcohol. We were right out on Savannah, right? He kept uh, revving yeah. his engine, revving his engine. Yeah. He does not like females whatsoever. That's why I started. That's why I came back. So I started. I started. I'm writing my tickets, right? I'm on the, getting ready on the second one. He hauls butt into here. Parks right there. I haul butt into here. He goes to walk in. I said, uh uh. I knocked the drink out of his hand and I went hands on with him. So I'm like, I'm done. He was resisting. Stay in your car. I had to get medicine. 
I had to get. They don't have medicine at Cumberland. Of course sir. they do. They have Valerian. Sit up. I want to go to the hospital. Sit up. Shut up. I want to go to the hospital. I want to go to the hospital. This guy rules. I can't sit up. Yeah, you can. I Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Step out. Can I go to the hospital? No, please? step out. Now he's nice because a guy shows up. Oh, thank God. Go to her for five bucks. Thank you. She says catnip for the gang. Thank you. They they uh, they do deserve catnip. What? Well, I'm in pain, sir. Move. You don't understand. Don't move. I have nothing on me. I'm a CEO. I don't. Here it is. Number four. He's guys. He's a CEO. I don't know why this whole thing happened. Check me out, Richard CEO Medical Technologies Group. What? Richard Schulman. I looked him up. Richard Schulman. Very Are you Jewish. doing this to me? This never happens in Palm Beach County. Never. Never. I have no weapons. I have no nothing. I'm a, I'm a sick man. I'm a sick man, sir. <clears throat> uh, Dr. Chank for five. Here's my not a war ski text. <laughs> Uh, Xander and Vixis for five. Having some Maker's Mark tonight. My preference. Salute. Yeah, Maker's is good. I like bourbon. Bourbon's my backup if I, um, if you don't have Irish whiskey. Like my, I don't like Jack Daniels as much and I don't like scotch and there's a lot of whiskeys I don't like. Um, if I can't, like, I would always prefer an Irish whiskey, but if I can't get an Irish whiskey, uh, Maker's, I like a good bourbon. That'll work. JJ, I walked Bob Dylan to the pharmacist. Who the fuck are you? Um, yeah, it's a good point. JB goes, if he actually wants a ride to the hospital, he should just shut the fuck up and be non-responsive. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Eugene Stoner for five. Thanks for the show. Thank you, sir. Uh, Social Observer for 10. The term registration in Black's Law, it means to enter into the registry of the crown when boats entered into the dock. It's a maritime law term. We don't own our vehicles when we register them, only possess. <laughs> Uh, social observer for 10. I knew a professional gambler that would take the underdogs with the points and win 60% of the time. He had a mansion with that 10% profit. Yeah. I mean, the underdog's always a better bet, you know, uh, sly Lego for, oh wait, no, it's, I'm sorry. Samurai Chicada for two. Is this the guy with the missing coin collection? No, I, I, and he's not the violin guy either. We checked or the trumpet guy. Sly Lego for five. This is his Holocaust. Mercia downplaying this. You're right. It's it's six million dead with this guy. Uh, Mary Jane, good to see you for ten. Just says howdy. Well, howdy, partner. Uh, Ampamesis for two. Mercia would like to speak to your supervisor, Lewis. Uh, Lewis is not. Lewis is sleepy right now. He's a sleepy boy. Uh, Juh, 1990. Thank you for ten bucks. Says, man, I got caught doing 120 kilometers through 160 kilometer. All right, you Europeans, break that down for me. All right, we use the English system here. Uh, 60 mile, uh, and only got a 138 dollar ticket. I was nice. Cop was nice, and off I went. I even paid the ticket early. I got 20 bucks off. Could have lost my truck that day. Yeah, I mean, it, it is sort of up to their discretion. But if you know, you're not this guy, you might have more luck. I want to go to the hospital. I want to go to the hospital. Can I speak to your chief? I want to go to the hospital. Ma'am, I want to go to the hospital. I'm sick. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. There's going to be a big lawsuit. There's going to be a huge lawsuit. Listen, we'll get you I got to go to the hospital. Okay, we'll get you I want to lock my car up and go to the hospital. If I'm ever in a fucking police uh, custody, if they've ever got cuffs on me, I'm going to keep screaming over and over again. I want to go to Twisty Treat. Officer, I want to go to Twisty Treat. Oh, please, you're, sir. You're, you're under arrest, sir. So. Uh, but I did nothing wrong. I want to go to the hospital. I'm very sick. Spread your oh. Sir, you're hurting me. You're hurting me. Well, we got to pay down, Mr. I have nothing. I'm the CEO. 
CEO, CEO. You know what? I think you're finished. You're you, finished. You, you are finished, buddy. You two are finished. Thank you. You know why? Because I told Also, how did the Panthers lose to the Islanders tonight? That's another heartbreaker. Um, but we did get our Minnesota Wild, Carolina Hurricanes, Toronto Maple Leafs uh, parlay, and the Vegas Golden Knights tonight. Well, there was sick and she didn't listen, so we're I... We're up. I think we're finally up, guys. Are we up or at least, we least even? Sports betting. I am... If I count live betting and sports betting, which is the same thing, uh, I am still down 76 cents. I came in here to get medicine. There's medicine that helps me that they sell here. What is it called? It's, it's called uh, ge generic. It's called uh, Tylenol. Right. It's like high, but very high dose Tylenol. Okay, have a seat. I can't, sir. All right. I want to go to the hospital, sir. Have a seat or I'm going to put you in there. Okay. Thank you. Can I go to the hospital, please? Okay. If Mr. You need Appler, attention, we'll get Mr. You Appler, can we'll I go to... the attention you need, but have a seat. You want to know something? Have a seat. In, in, this okay. would never... Sir, okay. this would never happen in Palm Beach County, ever. This would never happen in Palm Beach County. Fucking Jews are insufferable, man. They are insufferable. Social Observer for 10. The only way you can truly own your home is a land patent or a lodial title. Uh, the only way you can own your car is through a certificate of origin through the manufacturer. The country, the counties don't like to release. Uh, Jack actually, I love his, I love Social Observer just fighting the government over a car registration. Jack Action Senior for five. It might be better for this guy if you just shut up and called a lawyer. Yeah, you're Jewish. You know a lawyer. Come on. Ever. You're a CEO for Christ's sakes. I want to see the chief of police. The man continued to be belligerent towards the female deputy all the way to the station. What hospital are we going to? Ma'am, what hospital are we going to? J.J. Stoner. Is this her theme song? The most... The most overrated, the biggest, dude, even for Tony Khan, the single biggest waste of money I've ever seen. Ew. Look, does Sasha have a nice ass? Yes. Do I want to eat it? Yes. Would I let Sasha Banks use me as a bicycle seat? Yes. Um, but none of that has to do with how much money they spent on her. Look, she's a great female wrestler. She is. She's fantastic. If I owned a wrestling company, I would love to build a women's division around Sasha Banks, right? But she's not worth the money they pay. They, she is now the highest paid female wrestler on the planet. Blin goes, Sasha was only a, uh, a name because they needed a black spick for Charlotte to feud with. She isn't good and never fucking was. I think she's all right. I think she's good. I just think that um, she's not like, worth that much money and by the way i don't believe the me i don't believe the the rumors that she's getting 10 mil a year people were saying 10 mil a year and if you believe that you're a fucking mark i'm sorry but you are a fucking mark look at that guy what a mark if you think she's making 10 mil a year i heard realistically and i believe it i heard closer to three million a year But $3 million a year is still way too much money. And as Blinn said, you needed a fucking blackie black to fight the white girls. Now they have Bianca Belair. And Bianca Belair is infinitely better than Sasha Banks. She looks better. She's a better wrestler. Um, by every metric, Bianca Belair is better than Sasha Banks. Bianca Belair is not worth $3 million a year. Um, 
JJ Stoner said, no, Okada ain't getting that. She sure ain't. Yeah, no, I think Okada's getting like four mil. I think Osprey's getting close to four or five mil. Uh, but Osprey, yeah, Will Osprey is worth every dime. As King of All Pixels said, um, I truly think Will Osprey is not only a, the best wrestler in the world, I truly believe that. Um, but Osprey's got, he's got, like, he needs to. I think he's going to be limited because in AEW, they, they're very bad in AEW at, like, at making you look like a fucking star. WWE is the best at making you look like a fucking star. Um, but Osprey has, he's great on the mic. Oh, no, he's fucking, hey, what's up, bruv? Oh, my, oh, I'm going to try not to curse, all right, bruv? But, like, I'm so Fucking jacked. I'm so excited. Fucking jacked to the tits, bruv. Like, I kind of like that old British don't go row around Rero. Like, I like that vibe about him. And he's he's got a great look. Um, But my God, dude. I Dude, his matches. His matches are so good. He's... So fucking good. You know what I mean? Like, I, dude, even though I don't even watch AEW anymore, if there's like a pay-per-view coming up and I'm not, not interested in watching the pay-per-view, I will still wait till it's on Watch Wrestling and I will look up the Will Ospreay match. King of All Pixels says he and Swerve will fucking tear it up. Dude, Ospreay, Swerve, best of three. I would, wa- bro, be all in for that. By the way, Royce will back me up on this. I think JJ will back me up on this if he remembers. Um, Because JJ was around back then and Frozen Asian was around back then. When we did more like radio, we had a a cross-promotional arrangement with Combat Zone Wrestling. What that meant was that we ran free commercials for them and we would interview their talent and we would put over their shows, you know, because we weren't selling tons of commercial airtime. So we would trade, um, you know, we would basically trade with with CCW and we would go like, yeah, we will promote you. And we paid to have banners made and the banners would go on their guardrails, you know, at their pay-per-views. So they would put our more like radio banners at their events and in exchange, we just promoted their events. There's no cash changed hands or whatever. And we started watching a lot of CCW JJ, yeah, when they were good and stacked, like uh, the early Mox, early MJF. I don't remember MJF, but JJ might remember there were two guys I was obsessed with from Combat Zone Wrestling. John Moxley and Swerve Strickland. And Swerve Strickland, he was still Shane Swerve Strickland back then. His name's Shane Strickland. And he was still Shane Strickland back then. He was still just some young jit. But I'll tell you this, man. I was big on those two. And I said fucking 10 years ago, even more, 12 years ago, I watched a swerve match and I was like, he's going to be a fucking star, dude. Even when he was young and very green, he already had, because here's the thing, right? Other than Booker T, are there any wrestlers that are black guys that act like black guys? You know? Um, Not really. And and, and Swerve has that. And Swerve wasn't even this. Like, now he's got, like, the look where he looks like a fucking hip-hop, like, mogul black guy. You know? But back then, he was just some young, skinny black kid. All right. I'll give you that, Zach Frisbee. Carmelo Hayes. But there's never really been a big trend of really genuine black dudes. And Swerve's one of those dudes. Even back then, bro, like I, we would watch matches because he wasn't doing the deathmatch shit. He was more of a wrestler wrestler. But like even when he was young and green and he barely had like, you know, 100 matches under his belt, he fucking he would do that heel shit, you know, just where he rolled out of the ring and he would just look cocky. And he had that whole vibe to him where i knew early on i was like he's gonna be fucking big he's gonna be huge like swerve is so good yeah swerve osprey dude book it book that shit get get samoa joe's fat ass out of here 
Get former NXT champion out of here. All right. I want Swerve versus Osprey for the fucking title. Then I'll watch your product again, Tony. I'm going to. I'm recording this whole thing. What hospital are we going to, ma'am? What hospital are we going to, ma'am? What hospital are we going to, ma'am? You are an asshole. Well, you are an asshole. You're a bitch. And you're-, you're a bitch and an asshole. This guy has definitely just berated women in his life before. This guy hates women. And by the way, I hate women too, but Jesus, dude, dial it back a little bit. The way you manhandle me, I know who you are. You're a female bitch. Well, most all bitches are female. I mean, that's... Guys, we did it. We did it. The Texas Rangers. The Texas Rangers won. That's all I needed. Now we're over. We're we're up. We're up nine bucks today from sports betting. We did it, guys. And if I don't get to the hospital, you're gonna be screwed forever. For millions. And your department will be taken down. Where's my sneaker? Where's my sneaker? It's in your car, sir. Boy, are you gonna be soon? Your name's gonna be Mush when I'm done. Your name's gonna be I Mush. Have to get to the hospital 10, 15 times. No, you're Jewish. Your name's probably Mush or Mushnik. It's all recorded. And you ain't gonna get the recording. What is your name, man? What is your name, man? Well, you've already seen it because you've already what called me by my last name. name. It's Hines, What's sir. What's your name, ma'am? If you stop talking, your name? Well, when you stop talking... Okay. This guy sucks. Okay, you saw it on my shirt, because you've already said it. And it's Heinz, sir. Heinz. Heinz. Heinz Ketchup. If you're the Heinz family, you're the good one. Oh, my God. He's good. By the way, I thought he was going to make a Holocaust reference. You missed a really great opportunity, sir. He just went... Yeah, you're from the Heinz family and not the good one. Heinz, for those of you that don't know, is the ketchup company, you know, the the family that makes ketchup, who famously supported the Nazis. So he even botched. He botched trying to talk shit to her and inadvertently told her because she's not part of the Nazi family, she's not one of the good ones. <laughs> he can't even get his insults right. Yeah, the Heinz family, yeah, pff, and not the good one, not the good Nazi ketchup one. It is spelled differently than the ketchup, sir. Hey, more people should say that John Kerry is married to the Heinz lady. Fun fact, assholes. It is spelled like the cake you mix. You are a masochist. Okay. When you know someone's sick, you don't treat <clears throat> them this way. And you're going to apologize to me, and I'm going to bring you to court. I promise you, I will bring you to court. Check me out, Rich CEO Medical Technologies Group. Check me out, Richard Medical Technologies Group. be on LinkedIn. I have the money to sue you. Sue the whole damn department of money. Sue time. everyone. <laughs> if I don't get to the hospital, it's going to be 10 times. Ah! Drive carefully, bitch! <laughs> this guy's great. You got these cuffs on so tight. I'm not a criminal. If you weren't resisting, sir. Hey, aren't, cu- aren't cuffs meant to be put on tight? I always felt like if they put cuffs on loosely, I'll get out of them. They wouldn't have had to been on the way they are on. I calmed down. No, sir, you did not. You were constantly resisting me, sir. I have a very severe illness. Okay. You don't listen to me. What is wrong with you? I've heard everything that you've said, sir. You want want to bet? They're going to check my records right now, and I'm going to have you fired. I swear to God. I'm going to have you fired. This is not a hospital. I want to speak to Sheriff. I want to see you. Please stand. I have to. You want to? Just here? Well, 
we're going to have a nurse come out. Okay, stay in the car. Okay. Please. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sweetie. Thank you. Thank you. Sweetie. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, she said it. Don't call me sweetie. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Yeah, they don't like that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sweetie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't call me sweetie. Thank you. I'm very sick, man. I'm going to get the heat stroke. I'm going to heat stroke. Well, then you should calm down. Like, me personally, right, I've had more, I live in Florida, you know, uh, I like to go out sometimes. I, I, I've, I've done some day drinking in the past. Look, I've had moments in my life where, you know, I, uh, I got close to getting heat stroke. Or at least, uh, what's the other thing? Um, Arnold Nicotina for a coffee. Uh, thank you. Says, dude, sounds like Chagot on RV6. God, remember that when they broke him? But yeah, I, I've had experience having, uh, what is the, what's the other one? There's heat stroke. Heat stroke's the really bad one, but then there's heat, uh, heat exhaustion. Thank you. Starving autist. Um, yeah, no, heat exhaustion. You get heat exhaustion, and then you can have heat stroke, right? I've I've been borderline heat stroked before, right? And you know what you don't do when you have heat stroke? You don't scream at the top of your lungs, I'm hot! I had a heat stroke! Because that doesn't help. It doesn't help. Usually, if you really have heat stroke, you're like, just let me lay down. Can you just get me some cold water, please? Get me two bottles of cold water. I'm going to pour some on me and drink the other one. And then you lay down. The air was on. The air no, the was, air was on not the on. And the partition's open. So. The air was not on me. The, the air was not on. Tomo goes, I'm going into heat stroke looking at you. Whoa. Hmm. She should write Valentine's. All right, that's fine. That's please, why I open the door so you can get Thank you. Sarah's Jean says, I live in Vegas. Everyone gets heat exhaustion at some point. Yeah, that's what I mean, because it's just, oh, my God. You ever go outside in Vegas during the day? Whoo, buddy. You're the only sweet one here. The other guy. <laughs> You're the only sweet one here. And she's already like, oh, that's fucking good. Manhandled me and she manhandled. <laughs> she's looking at the cop like the other female cop like this nigga. I did not resist. <laughs> I went to get my medicine. I like this cop. It's a special title and all for You're going to jail, right? She said, you're going to jail. Okay. I'm not going to jail. I'm going to the hospital. Well, you're at the jail right now. No, I'm going to <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you're literally at the jail. We'll take you to the hospital after. After jail. Wait till you see what's wrong with me. I'm very, very ill. I almost died a month ago. There was no reason for what happened. I pulled over to the 7-Eleven to get the extra strength, Tylenol, because I'm but, not well. Sir, well, let me explain to you something. When we do a traffic stop on you, you can't drive away. I didn't. I just pulled over to the right. But you can't do that because we don't know what's okay. inside that car. I apologize, but you understand? Look, all I know is you pulled me over and I went to, I was hungry. I went to the twisty treat. When you're in my condition, yeah. I wanted a hot dog and some ice cream. Uh, Social Observer for 10, the Alex Jones versus Butt Plug Rabbi Shmuley interview was hilarious. Here's the link. Watch it now or later, but it's worth it. Um, I might give it a shot. We might give it a whirl after this. I have to. That's something that you should have explained to this day. No, she, she knew I was sick. She ignored me 10, 15 times. Lower your voice. 10, 15 oh, times. Yeah. 10, 15 times she ignored me. She doesn't realize. When you find out when I get to the hospital how sick I am. You know what? I'm going to sue you, please. Here, I'll show I'm going to sue you. His... First of all, stop. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Roided out cops coming out. Okay. Hey, first of all, knock it the fuck off. 
you didn't even give me a chance to say good afternoon or anything like that before you start talking to me like that. So oh boy, he got the Cuban. He got the he got the fucking Cuban guy. And I'll bet you a hundred bucks this Cuban fucking sheriff's deputy probably has like four kids. Probably has four kids. The three of them are boys. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you know boy dads. They don't fucking play around. First of all, right now, you're going to sit the fuck down. You're going to shut up. <laughs> <coughs> 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 Calm down. Good afternoon, sir. Okay, we got steps that we got to follow, okay. and then we'll talk about the other stuff. I did Come out of the car. Wrong. I just passed. I got one. it. I'm okay. just making sure you understand where we're going. Okay. Come out of the car. Thank you. Slide forward. Like you, Frank Schneider. See, once you're a big dude, all of a sudden he backs down. Slide forward. You know, it really is just an indictment of like certain people, man. It's the biggest red flag in the world to me is when you pick on those you perceive to be as weaker than you. You know, when you shit on service industry people or you shit on your employees or just shit like that. When you're a shit person like that, it's a big indicator to me. When you scream at women and scream at kids and every time a big guy shows up and tells you to shut up, you shut up. You're a bitch. I have more respect for you if you just happen to be belligerent to everybody. Right? Like, if you're just an asshole to everybody equally, I'll give you credit. If you're the kind of guy that would have said, shut up, you bald spick cop, <laughs> and you're willing to take a beating and a taser, I'm like, okay, at least this guy is applying his abuse equally. Like, we're not going to be able to escalate this to anybody who's who he's going to respect. You know what I mean? But if you're just picking on the women cops and calling them sweetie and shit and then trying to play divide and conquer and then the big one goes, yo, shut the fuck up and you just shut up, you're a bitch. Slide forward. I have no space. I can't. I can't. I can't. It was enough, all right, to drink. I didn't drink, sir. No, I did not drink. No. I'm on. I'm my body and that's the sicker I'm going to Sir, get. Sir, once you're placed in a holding cell, I believe there's water I want to go to a hospital. Okay. Holding cell. This nigga still thinks he's going to the hospital. Oh. oh my God. This is the worst nightmare of my life. Triple N goes, when Ronnie Coleman was a cop, he never got in a fight in his whole career. He showed up and everyone would just chill out. Yeah, I would imagine when Ronnie Coleman shows up, everybody calms down. Okay, sir, just to let you know, the following is being video recorded, okay? I thank you very much. Okay, listen to me. It will prove that I'm a very sick human okay, being. Okay, listen to me. For record, case number is 2022. I'm just sorry. Just write it down for me. I can't remember. Write it down for me. My name is Deputy Levin. I'm with the Marion County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. And present with me is Deputy Hines. Deputy Hines, have you arrested Richard for resisting arrest? Yes, ma'am. Because I pulled into a 7-Eleven to get my medicine. Okay, sir, I'll give you an opportunity to talk. Okay. 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 So the reason I am here is to conduct a DUI investigation, okay? It's fine. Go ahead. I didn't drink. Okay, I, listen. I, agree, I drank green tea okay. for three hours today. I was going into heat exhaustion. Okay. Because you are under... I love when people go, I didn't drink today. All right. Well, I drank like three drinks. The arrest. I am offering you to provide a breath test. Are you sure. willing to take the sure. breath test? No yes. problem. And you end up in the hospital, your blood sugar goes crazy and everything goes crazy. I almost died a month ago. Yes, ma'am. My name is Richard, CEO, Medical Technologies Group. And I know Rick Bradshaw and I know all the sheriffs. I know Rick Bradshaw, I know this all the This would have never happened in Palm Beach County, ever. Well, you're not in Palm Beach County. You're in Martin County, which is one of the counties that literally people like me behave in when I'm driving through it. I don't know if Lucas, if Lucas R is here, he'll probably back me up on this, but 
Florida is a weird, very weird place. You do have certain counties where you can get away with murder. When I got arrested for my DUI 10 years ago, when I called my buddy at night, he was like, the, I called Royce, but Royce was like in a goddamn REM sleep. So I think he just went back to sleep. So I had to call like my nightlife people because it was nighttime, early morning, whatever. So I called my buddy from the titty bar biz. And when I called him, I was like, yo, man, um, right away, like he picks up and he's like, correctional facility. What the fuck did you do? Because I was like the nerd of the crew. Like I was always the like the OCD, like not getting in trouble. Even when I sold drugs, I was very nerdy about it. And he's like, the fuck did you do to get popped? And I was like, man, they got me for fucking possession of weed, possession of paraphernalia, and a DUI. And um, when I called him, I was like, yeah, man. I was like, dude, I just got arrested. I'm in jail. I need bond, blah, blah, blah. He goes, for weed and DUI? He goes, how much weed? I was like, very little weed. And he's like... Man, what, fucking, they'll ROR you in the morning. It's, he's like, it's your first defense. You'll get ROR. You don't even need bond. And I'm like, do you think I'm in Hillsborough County right now? And he's like, yeah. I was like, were you not listening to the phone when it called? I'm like, I was like, he's like, what are you in Orange County? I'm like, no, Orange County's fine. That's Orlando. Hillsborough County's fine. It's it's Tampa. Their jails are crowded. They'll ROR you. But when I said Polk County, he went. Oh, yeah, you're going to need bail money. <laughs> right away, he goes, yeah, you're going to need to bond out. All right. Let me look into it. Word of advice, pro tip, if you're in Florida, you're on the I-4 corridor, you want to smoke some weed, you want to do some dirt, do it all the way east or do it all the way west. But don't get caught fucking around in the middle. Every other county in Florida is a small county that does not fuck around. And then every other county in Florida is like a city there where they're like a little bit more, there's leeway. There's a lot of fucking drill rappers driving around with fucking Dracos with pistol grips and shit. Like they're not, you know, they got bigger fish to fry than you, but there's places like this. This is Martin County. This is a small County. So when he keeps going, this would never happen in West Palm. Yeah, because West Palm, they got fucking... West Palm stretches all the way from West Palm Beach, Jewville, all the way to Okeechobee, and all the way into fucking uh, Muck City. It's a big county. So there are just certain... Like, Florida, in addition to being one of the freer states in the country... Not only do this does the state feel like it has autonomy from the government... The counties are wildly different from one another in Florida. They have a lot of autonomy, these counties. They, you know, certain counties can run their county the way they want. Like, it's not like New York and other places where everything's kind of like the same form of government. Like, some of these counties, bro, they run shit their way. And if you're out there fucking around in Martin County or you're out there fucking around in, uh, what are, this, what are some of the other rural counties, right? I'm just trying to see right now. Hardy County is one of them. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Le Levy or Levi, whatever, Levy County. Uh, Citrus County. Uh, you can get away with shit in Pasco because they just have hookers disappearing like it's the Lost Boys. You know what I mean? But Dixie County. Yeah, there's a county called Dixie County. I've driven through these, by the way, when I go up to I-10. Um, Sumter County is another one. Um you want to smoke weed, do it in Alashua County. But don't drive over to, like, if you go to Bradford County, Union County, Clay County, uh, Columbia County, you know what I mean? Like, there's certain counties, Franklin County, Gulf County. There's a couple of these little small counties in Florida. They will fuck your world up. There's, yeah, Lucas Hardon, there's a reason we refer to different areas down here by county. Yeah, because you just know... There's a different culture. There's a different vibe depending on where you're driving. Like if I'm driving through fucking um, <laughs> Carl Star, Citrus County, Cabbage County, Dave's County, <laughs> you're, just, you're just naming it after Dave. Uh, you know, but when, look, if you're driving, right, and all of a sudden you're on I-10 and you're like, I want to fucking, 
I want to smoke a little weed or something. I want to stop off. Stop off in like Leon County. Right? That's Tallahassee. It's a lot of black people. They got a lot of crime. They're not going to worry about you. But you just drive a little bit northwest of that. Now you're in Gadsden County. That's a different story, boy. That's a different story altogether. They're going to fuck you up. So my advice to you when you're in Florida is by default, you should just behave. But if you can't behave, wait till you're in the right area. Lucas Hardar said, don't go, don't go south to Wakula. Yeah, Wakula County is, uh, ooh, that's, that's where it starts to get, you know, where they don't fucking play. Any of the counties where their main form of business is the prisons. You know, you go to Union County, Bradford County, Baker County, those are all just prisons. So it's a law enforcement county. So that means that everybody that lives there is a CO. Um, the cops are super strict. Everything's super strict. They got prisons in the county, and that's the only thing they have besides farms. So if you're driving to and from that county, they're going to be very suspicious of you. But Florida's, uh, Florida's wild. It's very like, oh, shit, we drove one county over. Be very careful. You know, I behave myself in certain counties because you just are like, I'm not going to jail tonight, especially not here. I mean, the one upside is in a lot of those counties, if you go to their jails, it's going to be a lot of white people. That's the one upside. You get arrested in Bradford County, could be a lot of white people in there. Donatello, the Don of Jello. What's the best county to do shit in? Uh, Orange County, Hillsborough County, Miami-Dade County, Broward County, uh, Duval County. Uh, what's Daytona? What's the Daytona one? Brevard or Volusia? Volusia, Brevard, those kind of counties. They, they, you can fuck around a little bit out there and get away with it. But you start fucking around in these little weird counties you've never heard of. Trust me when I tell you, you're making a mistake. The rural ones, they will lock your fucking ass up. That's all they have out there. They would have given me a warning and they would have driven off. I guess you're stricter here. If you pass someone. I take a rest personal. I Rave Sacks is saying this guy's like a shitty Vice City side quest character. Mean people personal. I want you to get back at this bitch. This bitch deputy. She was mean to me. I wanted my Tylenols. Happened since the pandemic. This whole world. Carl Star, Nightwave, brought to you by the word county. They're killing. I did say county a lot tonight. People. Dogzilla saying Pinellas is getting a little more strict. Yeah, you used to be able to do dirt in Pinellas, but. You want to do dirt in Pinellas, you better take your ass a little bit north and go to Pasco. You're lucky I didn't go into stroke. I had fruit punch. I had green tea. I had three green teas this afternoon. I you trust you. I'm not drunk. Okay. Um, when I tell you to do so, what you're going to do is take a deep breath in, create a tight seal with your mouth around the mouthpiece, okay. and blow out. Okay. I bet he's drunk. To be a constant breath out, okay. you can't stop until I tell you. Chuck Norris Gun Club, I visited Florida once, Kissimmee. Well, I'm sorry that that's all you got to see. Okay, okay. then can I go to the hospital once you find out I'm not drunk? done with this, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. And how do I get my car? Your car got towed. But who pays for that? You get it's impounded, you dumb fuck. That's what happens. That's gonna be up to you. I'll have to call Brick Bradshaw. So here's the thing, you dumb old Jew. Another thing that is a benefit of not getting belligerent with cops. And, and and I've seen this happen. My car got towed during my DUI, but I was on the highway. Like I had no choice. It was getting impounded. They impound automatically for a DUI anyway. But if it's non-DUI related or if it's just whatever, you get pulled up, whatever. Um, you know, a lot of times cops can be very cool about things. If you're not drunk and you're not fucking around, but let's say they have to arrest you, you got warrants or something. We've seen videos of cops where 
if you're not a twat the whole time and you don't scream and call him a fucking bitch every two seconds, uh, sometimes cops will be cool and go like, yeah, you know what? We're in a Wawa anyway. If you just park in that parking spot, like just we'll ask the manager if it's cool if your car's here for a day or so. Like they don't always impound if they don't want to be cunts. But again, you you threw all that civility out the window when you started screaming at her right away. Chuck Norris Gun Club um, says sometimes you can talk yourself out of a DUI. I you know what the problem with that is is I talk my way out of so many DUIs for so many years. And and it's it only takes one really bad night, you know? And I could even think back to my DUI and I can may I can I can think of two decisions I made that night that fucked me. By the way, the Nashville Predators, they're gonna blow it for me tonight. This is pathetic. How are they losing to Arizona? Anywho, um, but one of the things like there's two things I did that night. One, I stopped at Love's. I needed I I didn't need gas. I probably could have floated at home without getting gas, but I figured ah, I need gas anyway. So I stopped and got gas, and I was gonna get a snack. I got some combos and a Gatorade, and the the lady saw that I was so drunk while I was talking to her that she called the cops on me. That was my first strike. Second strike was I was arguing with my ex-girlfriend via text message. So I kept grabbing my phone and she was texting me back and I was texting her back. So I was doing like a buck 10, not looking at my fucking speedometer. And I would just kept picking up the phone. Every time my fucking screen would light up, I would pick my phone up and yell back at my girlfriend or ex-girlfriend so I was like swerving around the road and not paying attention. So those were my two big, like that night, if I had just kept it between the double nickels, as they say, and um, behaved myself and I didn't stop for gas, I would have made it home that night. Um, I've definitely talked my way out of many a fucking DUI before that. But then one night I got real reckless. I didn't eat anything all day and I drank probably... I mean, I was day drinking, like not day drink. Well, yeah, day drinking because I met, I was, I met with. All right, so I met with the owner of Baby Dolls, which is a strip club in Pinellas, and I was trying to get the GM job. And me and the owner, uh, we have hi we have a history of just not meshing. We've been in several fights, like we've been in one physical fight and two social media fights, but in private, like we're nice to each other. Like we don't even fucking really have beef but he's just an asshole and i'm an asshole and we're both alcoholics and we got fucking we got fucking spicy with each other one day and we fist fought each other and uh it, it just was a bad day man it was a day where i went to meet with him and he's an alcoholic i'm an alcoholic so right away we meet and it's like two in the afternoon three in the afternoon it's daytime we go meet in indian rocks beach <clears throat> Actually, I'll show you. I'll show you the exact fucking look at this. I'm gonna show you guys something. Let's see if this guy's drunk. So I'm, uh, not, uh, call my attorney and have him call Schneider. Mister, do you know <coughs> your results? Yes, I would like to know my results. Your first breast sample is zero point zero two eight. And then I had second, Cheetos last night. Okay, listen, and then your second breast... He had Cheetos last night. Right? Sample is 0 .02 Tito's last night. Um, so it is under the legal I limit. I had Cheetos last night. Okay. One Cheetos. Okay. Last night. Thank you. Do you have any questions? I would like to... So he was under the limit. So he's just a psychotic CEO. I want to show you guys the, the route I drove when I got popped. You guys are going to laugh when you see my I'm going to I'm going to reenact my drunk driving route for you guys. The night I got pinched for drinking and driving. I got in a fist fight here at Indian Rocks Beach. 
because the guy that I got in a fight with lived in Indian Rocks Beach and he's a regular at all the beach bars. Even though everybody hated him, he was the local. So I got fucking chucked out and dumped on my fucking head on the street in my suit uh, when the fight broke out because I was the outsider. No food all day. I'm drinking for like seven hours straight on an empty stomach. Probably an entire bottle of fucking JMO. Drinking Grand Marnier because I think he liked Grandma. We were drinking some of that shit. We were mixing it with all kinds of other shit, whatever. I drove. And any Floridian will know what this fucking journey is. This is a two hour and six minute drive now. Which late at night, that's what it would have been about. About two hour and six minute drive. Indian Rocks Beach, right? All the way to Windermere, Florida, was where I was staying at the time with Royce um, at their old house. This is how far I made it. I made it all the way. I made it all the way to here. <laughs> So I made it from Indian Rocks Beach, which, by the way, if you guys understand Florida roads and stuff, right? Indian Rocks Beach through Pinellas County, th over the bridge, through fucking uh, Hillsborough County, through Tampa, all along I-4. This is a fuck, dude, so many bridges, so many exchanges, switches like that you have to do just to get off that island, just to get off this island and go through Pinellas Park and all this. It's horrible. I made it probably an hour and 45 minutes into a two hour journey. I almost made it home. I got arrested right where this little red dot is. We see where, this, where the slowdown in traffic is right here? This is where I got popped. So I made an epic journey and I got popped here. And this stretch here would have been super easy. Actually, it's closer to, yeah, yeah, no, right there. Right there is where I got popped, where the red is. So I, this last stretch is the easiest stretch. It's all I-4 and boom, bomb, bing, and you're in and out. I would have been home. I fucking made a journey hammered. I was hammered, and I made it this far without doing shit. And then I stopped at the Loves in Auburndale. Where's the Loves? Where's the loves? <coughs> That's not the loves, is it? Where's the loves? rest area this was like yeah so just past the rest area so i made i know i made it past the rest area i made it like up here i was almost home free and i just couldn't make that last stretch bro and it's because i stopped i got gas and the bitch that sold me gas was like you are fucked up <laughs> she called literally called and by the way to this day man i'm not bitter like i'm not mad at her like when i was at the time, I was like, fucking snitch, bitch. Um, but as I've gotten older, I've kind of learned, like, yeah, I was pretty fucked up. I, I had no business being on the road. Um, I'm not mad at the lady that snitched on me. I think that... Um, I think that I'm I'm not above snitching at this point in my life. Like if if I think somebody's a real danger to people on the road, like if I saw somebody swerving and speeding and fucking, they were obviously hammered. I might call it in. But we're not talking about she smelled booze on me and called the police. We're talking. I was fucked up. She didn't call the police because I smelled like alcohol. That's what I used to. Back then, I used to think like, what? I smelled like alcohol. So I had a couple drinks and this cunt ruins my life. And then as I got older, I'm like, no, I was fucked up. Like, she was probably like, bro, like, I'm not letting this guy drive. It happens. But. 
but you can talk your way out of them. Jim Edward, would you blow? Um, by the time they got me, it was point one five six, and then point. Well, not no, no. There's always some asshole autistic person that's gonna. Oh, you'd be dead. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Uh, you mean a zero point one? Shut up. You get my point. Just eliminate the zero if it's redundant. We know it's not point one five, but it's point zero one five six. And then my second blow was point zero one six two or one six four. It was bad. I was twice the legal limit. I was pretty fucked up. And the thing is, dude, I could blow that on a on a good night if I ate like a good like I had a nice bacon cheeseburger and some French fries. I could blow that and and I could just drive fine. But I blew point one six four. Oh, Jim Edwards said when I got mine, I blew one point four. Yes, yeah, see the thing is, is I didn't blow till I got to the station. So it was twice the legal limit. But they were having, a, I, if I remember correctly, I think they wanted me to blow on site, and I'm an idiot, and I was like, fine, I'll do it, and I complied. But there was some kind of inconclusive, like the, the machine, like whatever, the, the dude's fucking breathalyzer wasn't working. And it wasn't because I was being a bitch, because the cop even was like, yeah, no, you're blowing right, it's just not, like it was just inconclusive, it was all fucked up. So they waited till I got to the station and then I blew and it was a point one five six and then a point one six two or one six three. It was bad. And that's again me blowing one point six point one six or whatever, point zero one six, if I was eating that day and I wasn't like whatever I, I would have been fine. I would have been fine to drive. I was fucked up that night. I was a danger on the road because I didn't eat a shred of food all day. So I was doing shots and I was mixing different liquors and it was not a good, it wasn't a good scene. But that was like, what, an hour? So it was an hour, like an hour and a half of driving and then being at the fucking traffic stop, which, you know, when they, when they have you at a traffic stop, that takes an hour, an hour and a half. They're impounding your car. They're cuffing you. You got to do all that. So by the time I got to the station, I still blew twice the legal limit. So I was probably at my peak, probably at like a point zero one eight. Like I was bad that night, dude, and on an empty stomach, which is not good. Um, people, are, oh, people always say that too. Like, well, if you refuse to blow, you go to jail anyway. Yeah, and your your license gets suspended for a year. But I will say, you're still better off. You are better, I will say you're better off always refusing. Because all you're doing when you blow is get, like you're giving the state. You know what I mean? It's like if you murdered somebody and they're like, are you willing to submit to a lie detector? Are you willing to submit to DNA swabs and shit? Like, you're probably going to have to eventually comply, but it's better to be like, talk to my lawyer, dude. I'm not doing that shit. Like, you know what I mean? But that's what, yeah, that's why it's voluntary. It's just like, just, just don't, just don't do it. They always scare you at the, oh yeah, well, uh, you know, you're going to get your license suspended for a year. And you're like, that's fine. Jim Edwards said, it's fucked here because if you refuse to blow, you're subject to a blood test at the station. Yo, real shit. You know, you want to know what's funny? Um, Lucas Hard R said, never do field tests, never blow in Florida. I've blown, I, I've done the, I've done a breathalyzer before when I was, didn't drink all day. I've done that where they're like, uh, have you been drinking? And I'm like, no, and I'm not doing any field sobriety tests, but if you want me to blow, I'll blow. But I'm not, I haven't had any booze. But um, it, it, when I got arrested, I blew at the station, right? And then they go, all right, well, we want you to do a blood test. And it, that was where I drew the line. That was where I drew the line. 
Like I was in jail. I blew at the jail and it was like one, six, four or whatever. And they're like, yeah, one, six, four, one, five, eight. We average them out. I'm like, whatever. And then they go, all right, we want to do a blood test. And that was the, that was when I went, yeah, sorry, dude, let's not get fucking greedy here. I even, I think I even said like drunkenly to the cop, I'm like, you already got me fucking dead to rights on a DUI. Like I already failed a breath test. You got me dead to rights on a DUI. We're not going to get fucking greedy here. I'm like, I'm not submitting to a blood test. They wanted me after I blew the breathalyzer. They still wanted me to do a blood test. And I was like, absolutely not. Because I knew at that time I had at least probably five other drugs in my system. I wasn't letting them get my blood. Because my blood, I probably would have tested positive for cocaine, molly, methamphetamine, because a lot of the molly back then was mixed with methamphetamine, um, marijuana, yeah, marijuana, cocaine, probably pills, too, at the time. Like, not pain pills, but I'm sure there was probably, like, some benzodiazepines in my system too so i was like no you're not getting me on that because that you're gonna try to make this into you're gonna show that to the court no fuck that shit they were like yo we're gonna do a blood test i'm like you can't do a blood test. i blew i blew and you caught me with weed you got me you caught the tater like we're not doing a blood test so they didn't do the blood test thank god because i would have had like six drugs in my system it was bad times for Mersh. I was eating Molly every day. I was a fucking mess, dude. Hardest drug I ever got off was Molly, to be honest. It was worse than pain pills. Um, Molly's a tough one, dude, because you really feel... Whew, it, it's like getting off pain pills sucks because you get the flu and you get the flu symptoms and you feel sick and you're miserable and all that shit and it's not easy and I'm not trying to downplay what opioid addicts do when they have to get off that shit. But Molly, there was a time in 2013, 2014 when Molly was just, everybody was eating it. Everybody was eating Molly. And when I say everybody was eating Molly, we were eating Molly every day. I did Molly every day for like two months straight. And when you get off Molly, it's not it's not like getting off pain pills. It, it's two different types of withdrawals, right? Because Molly is just pure serotonin all the time. And I was even microdosing. Like I was taking like little bits of Molly every day. And it was just like, it felt so good, man. It just felt so good. I felt so good all the time. And it was at a time too where I was just fucking like really chicks that were just out of my league because I was running strip clubs. Like it was fucking unbelievable. Um, but then when I got my DUI and I got fucking fired and I hit rock bottom and you hit rock bottom, you got no money. Your car's getting repoed. You're taking the bus to work and you can't afford Molly no more. Oh, my God. Molly is a rough one if you do it all the time because your brain is just like, there's no serotonin left. You want to die. It's not pretty. Uh, HCZ, thank you. Here's a couple tree bucks. Thank you. Uh, True Wolf 9 for 5. No forest, mommy. Those are hot flashes because your eggs are dying and your womb is craving cock. It's completely normal. Ask my hammy milf about it. Well, I mean, if she can remember that far back. That's not nice. Be nice to my wife. Be nice to my wife. She puts fireworks in her asshole. And that that is to be commended. That's the most American thing I've ever heard of. Dan Snop for 5. If you guys ever come out west, I'll buy you a bottle of something. That something will probably be Boone's Farm, though. Nice. What did Ziggy Sabaka say? College kids ain't shit. Uh, 20 bucks from the last Dusker. Thank you, buddy. I'll just do this it's one. Coming out of your check, you fucking mark. Got a decent work bonus, so cheers. Here's a bit more than I usually do. Uh, do want to do a Florida in the next year or so. You've got a beer or more on me, fam. Well, let me know when you do it, and I might be around. 
Los Teos says, are sparklers fireworks? I mean, I guess nowadays they're considered that because America's a fucking cucked shithole. Cubertmo, for five, they would have cloned and used the clone for gay sex if they got your blood. That's true. That's true. Or they would have used it to weaponize my blood against me. You see my back, they would have made custom viruses to kill me because the New World Order wants me dead. You see my back, Saeed, for 30. Thank you. Mersh, you said the word blow about 27 times in the last eight minutes, and now I have the weirdest boner. <laughs> I hope you're happy. Happy Thursday. You magnificent blow machine. Thank you. I, I did blow, though. I did blow for them. You know, I wanted to blow. I wanted to blow so hard. Um, let's see. Let's see. I guess we'll watch the Rabbi Shmuley thing, right? That's, uh, that's uh, something, I guess. How are the Tar Heels losing now? You know, you fucking faggots. You NCW college faggots have no heart. Greasy N-word for two. Yeah, me and Dan will pitch in for a nice bottle of Bodega Level Hooch. What's your favorite flavor of Mad Dog? Oh, MD 2020? I like the berry. The berry is my favorite. I'll also... Um, so I actually, honestly, you know what I like more than uh, MD 2020 was the um, Special Reserves. Remember those? They still have those? This was our shit back in the day. Not MD 2020. They still do special reserve. This was my shit right here, boy. Yeah, dog. Yo, this was my shit in high school. The special reserves, bro. Malt liquor. Mixed fruit malt liquor. Six ounces. Yo, this was the shit. This was the shit. Do they make this? They probably don't make any of this shit anymore, right? Like. Special Reserve, bro. That was my shit right there. Can you still buy those? Midnight Dragon, Special Reserve. Was a brand produced by Jihai Montgomery. And yeah, I don't think they make it no more. Yo, the fucking Special Reserves, bro. 800 mixed fruit. That was my shit back in the day. Bro, we used to crush them fucking things. You'd be throwing up. It would all be all red and shit. Yo, that was my shit right there. What was the company that... Old English, that's what it was. Old English Special Reserves, that's what it was. Oldie, oldie Special Reserves. We used to drink fucking... God, man, I can't... I, I can't tell you in, in junior high school how that was the shit. We used to go up to the Haji stores... And just fucking get like a bunch of oldie, get a bunch of 40 ounces. Virgie, yeah, bro, those motherfuckers were high school in a can for me. That and Opana. <laughs> ah, Virgie had a better high school experience than I did. I didn't get into pain pills in high school. I just smoked weed and drank in high school. I didn't even do cocaine until I was like 19. And I was dating a chick, R.I.P. Sarah, she's dead now, but. I was dating this chick uh, that was like 26 and I was like 19. And uh, cause I like, as soon as I got out of high school, I just wanted to hang out with older chicks. So when I was 18, I was dating a chick that was 28. And we're still friends to this day. And it's crazy now cause I'm 41 and she's 51. She's still hot too. She's just old, but she's hot. Um, when I was 18, I dated this hot 28-year-old blonde chick named Gina. This fucking Italian girl. And um from from uh from where was she from? Queens. Yeah, we're both Queens people. And then uh after her I dated this chick Sarah, and I was like 19 and she was like 26. And I would get out of work. I'd worked full time. I had a good job at the time. I was making decent money. And uh, we would meet up, and then, like, one weekend, we just hung out, and she's like, you ever done coke? And I'm like, no. And she's like, I don't want to get you into it if you... And, of course, I'm playing along. I'm like, yeah, no, of course I have. Please, this is old hat to me. And I was just trying to impress her, and she got me into coke. First time I ever did coke with her, I was like, oh, this shit is so fucking awesome. And that was when I was 19, so I could do a bunch of coke, and my dick was still like a jackhammer.
Also old E in 64 ounce bottles, six per K. Yeah, bro. Still love them 40 ounces. Got special reserves, bro. I miss them shits. Um, yo, the rest of my bets are going bad tonight. The Tar Heels are down. Cyclones ain't gonna make a comeback, so they're that's fucking thirty bucks out. Um, the Dallas is struggling against the Canucks. The Avalanche is struggling against the Rangers. What's going on here tonight? What happened? If it wasn't for my, you know what? I'm going to start just, I'm only going to start betting like on my gut instead of betting stats. Cause like I bet my gut tonight, my, but my, if all I had done was put 10 bucks on the Hawks and the Pelicans tonight, like I fucking knew I would have just made 200 bucks and I would have put no money in. I'm going to put 10 bucks in 200 out. Uh, Arizona screwed me hard. Traditional vibe said, "What the, the Wildcats? You mean or the Coyotes? Because they both suck. They're both letting us down." Um, let me see. Do we have any coffees? No, we don't. All right, let's move on. Uh, let's watch the Schmooly shit. I guess. Might as well. We only got like a few minutes left anyway tonight, so we might as well uh, check out Alex. I love Stephen Crowder Jones. Versus Rabbi Shmule. Come on. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get some rest. I got like no sleep last night. InfoWars tells you the truth about. I got no sleep last night and then I fucking came home from ROTC and I took a nap and I like. I, don't know, I slept for like an hour, and when I woke up, it was like, like you know, you just I again slept. When I say I didn't sleep, I, I'm not. I don't mean I laid in bed and I tossed and turned. I just didn't sleep last night. I was wide awake through into the morning and just came straight through and did the show. So I was like running on a day and a half being awake, and I'm like, let me go to sleep. So I, dude, I, when I take that nap, it's deadly because I took a nap, and I woke like my alarm went off, and I woke up, and it was like eight. 30 and I'm like <sighs> like I just wanted to go back to sleep but I didn't what's happening next I guess uh, 45 minutes to the studio he uh, just 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 got in his suit and he's there so I appreciate you coming on today thanks for having me Alex so you, what do you want to what do you think this debate's about well, first of all, when I say digital decapitation, what I mean is that your arguments against the Jewish people are just so insidious, they're so unchristian. Do you think that we Jews are not accustomed to the world hating us? You think it's because of Hamas and because of the war in Gaza? Jesus was a Jew and they crucified him for God's sake. No, no, no. Jesus was a Jew and you crucified him. Let's get that. Let's, 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 first of all, first, first uh, fact check. First fact check of the day. Uh, Jesus was a Jew, and you killed him. Like, aren't you a Christian? You you yourself are a Christian, correct? Yes. So, was did you not forget that Jesus was murdered by the Romans? Did you not forget there was a Holocaust? No, 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 no. This guy's a psyop, right? He's got to be a psyop. This guy, he he looks and he looks, sounds and smells like bait, right? It's all bait. This guy's human bait. He might as well. He he's a literal worm. I feel like Rabbi Rabbi Shmuley is he exists solely to generate anti-Semitism. And this is a trick that Jewish people do that they don't want you to know about. They they purposely they purposely act a certain certain ones act a certain way to inspire anti-Semitism. Of six million Jews, there have been people on your show that have actually denied the Holocaust or minimized the numbers. You've had people like Kanye West who said they they love Hitler. I don't square your Christianity, your love of Jesus, the Bible, the Hebrew Bible, with your hatred of the Jewish people. It really confuses me. I'm not speaking now about 
a Jewish boy murdered at um, Sandy Hook in 2012 uh, and the 28 others who were murdered that you denied. And a Jewish kid that was killed and the 28 other cattle. I'm actually impressed that you still have the lights on, given that your one point five billion dollar uh, uh, a judgment against you. I don't know if you guys are pouring your special powders that you sell and maybe they energize it or you got little hamsters going on wheels in the background. That Oh, way to be smug and talk down to the guy whose platform you wanted to go on. That's impressive. <laughs> I just don't I, I, I just don't get I just don't get your hatred of the Jewish people, your lies about Israel since October seventh, like Israel went in to take the oil in Gaza. There's as much oil in Gaza as there is potency on the fictional powders that you sell. So so Oh, he had these all lined up. He he's so pumped. He was so excited about this. Bro, if I was a Jew, I would ask this guy respectfully to stop it. If I were fucking Jonathan Greenblatt, I would be sending cease and desist letters to Rabbi Shmuley and Gabe Hoffman. And I'd go, hey, hey, can you do me a favor? Can you knock it off? What is your hatred about Jews if you're a Christian? I don't get it. How could you hate Jesus people? Because you killed Jesus. First off, number one, you killed Jesus. Number two, you clip coins. Number three, your entire fucking uh, uh, international diaspora uh, is dependent on usury. You're pedophiles. Should I keep going? You suck baby dicks. I'll keep going. You have secret tunnels with stained mattresses. You put fishing line around New York City so you can hide from God. Okay, so I let you go first because I didn't know what angle you were gonna go with. First off, that whole Sandy Hook thing was a PR deal. Um, I barely ever talked about it. The internet didn't believe it happened. I covered it a few times and then they decided to do rigged events where judges found me guilty and then had show trials similar to what we've seen happen with Trump in New York and, and other areas. So uh, all of these attacks on me have only made us more popular. 99% of people uh, see straight through it. All that stuff's been appealed. And, and so that's a, you just, you know, dredging something up. That would be like if I said. Wait, but, is that, but is that, is that, wait, may I say, I don't, I don't want to interrupt, forgive me. Is that what you live for, popularity? You just said you're a Christian. Don't you live for God? Don't well, you live well, for ethics? Well, well, let me, let all, me. You care, all you care about, Jesus wasn't popular. He Listen, was hated look, in his lifetime. Look, you don't believe in Jesus. You don't believe in my God. Don't fucking preach to me about morality. Let's take this disciples. one at a time. You live, for, you live for popularity? I wish Alex could fight this guy after, and this was the UFC pre-fight promo. Could you imagine Alex Jones versus Rabbi Shmuley? I would book that shit tomorrow. <laughs> I gotta do it now, of course. Look at that fight card. Let's let's take this one up because you said you do the debate. We had equal time. I think you've probably since you so came on right. talked you're a little right. more you than me. You are correct. You are correct. You are correct. So, no, I don't just live for popularity. I'm saying the establishment attacking me and rigged courts. People see through it and it's backfired, just like it's backfired on Trump. But but let me res respond. I didn't come on with the classic anti-Jew thing that the Jews killed Jesus. I know that in, I've studied history. It's very but they did though. Very fascinating that the Jews were constantly fighting with each other over who had the right deal and there was a civil war going on and 70 years later, t Titus sacked Jerusalem and I know about the different factions, it's fascinating. To say that, that Pontius Pilate killed Jesus, he tried to set Jesus free. So right out of the gates, you say that, that, that the Romans I guess they physically did it, killed Jesus going right I guess they physically to the did point it. when it... What was the joke some comedian had years ago when he's like, yeah, he's like, uh, yeah, the Romans might have been the muscle, but we know who called in the contract. It was the high priest and others that demanded the Romans arrest him and said, give us Barabbas. So out of the gates, you must think the viewers don't know a historical perspective because I wasn't going to try to go down some, 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 you know... Now we're down eighteen, uh, seventeen dollars and sixty cents. Uh, who just lost? Colorado, Colorado Avalanche. Thanks, boys. Thanks, thanks, Avs. Good job.
Good job for us, Mommy. You owe me $120 now. Historical thing on the Jews here. Because your city can't deliver a hockey win. I was going to try. You literally live a mile above the earth, and you guys fucking live in the snow and the mountains, and you guys can't win a fucking hockey game against, uh, who was it? Was it Arizona? Was it some kind of fucking... No, that's my special reserves. Uh, who were they playing tonight? It was a bad team. I, I remember it was a bad team. I thought it was a desert team. The Ducks? Was it the Ducks? No, the Kraken are playing the Ducks tonight. Uh, who are you playing tonight? Oh, the Rangers? You couldn't beat the... All right, well, now I feel like an idiot. You couldn't beat the Rangers? Try to have a discussion, Fucking but out of the gates. Also I just looked at the chat. Jim Edward goes, the Rangers, the best team in the league. Fucking retard. So if you go to Whole Foods, this is the last thing I'll say you can talk. Or, or you go to Central Market. <laughs> giant sections of incredibly high quality. That fucking, by the way, that 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 Atlanta Hawks uh, Pelicans bet saved my life tonight. I would be down. I would probably be down a significant amount of money. But that one bet brought me back to where it's like, all right, you're down nine bucks. Supplements and products that do incredible things like turmeric. Everybody knows turmeric's incredible. Everybody knows that, that colloidal silver topically is amazing. I private label the top brands in the country. I love that this guy tried to attack Alex about the InfoWars supplements and he immediately turned it into an InfoWars store commercial. That, that they, He's out Jewing Rabbi Shmuley. We've done national studies on and found we sell the very best product. So the old lame thing that I sell supplements, have you seen the GNC stores? All over the country, have you have you seen Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, promoting uh, the, the different herbal things? And you're damn right in your little joke about my PP size uh, that I do like taking uh, things like our testosterone boosting <laughs> products because because they know. they really work. So 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 I didn't know I, I didn't I didn't know we were going there. You know what? That you went there. He's pointing out that you went there. You fucking perverted Jew fuck that sells butt plugs with your daughter. Uh, Johnny Smiles for five. Remember Cisco wine back in the day? I don't, to be honest with you. It, it just may not have been something that crossed my purview. You see my back, Saeed, for 20, says, my best friend in high school loved Old English so much that he got a tattoo of their logo. He used that same font on his tombstone. It just says, Justin, father, son, holy shit. <laughs> Good dude. That was a video that I did. It was, that we're going to, I don't want to get off to a tangent. Well, you said a lot of I, stuff, I, so I, I just no, countered no, no, some no, of I'll it. Tell you, I, I, because you defend Candace Owens and Candace Owens humiliated the first lady of France, Brigitte Macron, who never bothered her. Seven first of all, I know you're going to call it. Look, I don't think that Candace Owens is going to save us. I don't think, I don't trust Candace Owens any more than I trust Rabbi Shmuley. But at least she's calling you fucking Jews out for your devious tricks. And I would eat her black pussy right here in front of everybody. 70 year old woman of three, leave her alone saying that she has male genitals, that she's a man. And you once said that uh, Michelle Obama is probably a man because she has no bulge. And I was kind of making fun. Well, you know, you know, Alex, if you don't have much of a bulge, maybe you're a woman. I was kind of saying that. But let's take the humor aside for a moment. I wasn't I, I don't want to get into a debate on on on, on the, the murder of Jesus. I will in a moment. I was making a different point altogether. You come across as a classic anti-Semite. You lied that Israel <sighs> went into Gaza. You said this October 10th. That's not true. I'm a classic anti-Semite. In order to steal the oil. I'm drunk, I'm Irish, and I don't trust the people that killed my savior. There is as much oil in Gaza as there is truth in your fictional products. There's no oil in Gaza. Where did you even invent that? You've never been to Gaza, I have. There is no oil and gas. That's just an outright anti-Semitic lie. You've had Kanye West, who loves Hitler, and you kind of contradicted. You allowed a man who murdered the people of Jesus. How could you be a Christian? And he even just pointed out, yeah, you kind of pushed back, but you still let him on. And and praise Hitler, who gassed 1.5 million Jewish children, the people of Jesus, 6 million Jews. How could you be a Christian and say the Jews are not the people of Jesus? Stop this. Stop appropriating our fucking savior. He is not of you. He flipped your tables over. He, he, he spoke on how you turned his father's home into a mockery. 
in a marketplace, in a flea market. Jesus hated you. That on 9-11, the Jews were kind of responsible for it. You're not a Christian. With all due respect, you're a Christian fraud. I'll tell you what. I'll take that. You're not a Christian. Well, guess what? You're a Jew. You're a Jew. So I wipe my, a monkey's fucking ass with what your opinion of a Christian is. We're all goyim to you. We're cattle. You know what I mean? This is like having a black guy come up to me and tell me I'm not white. What would you know? There's nothing religious about your saying. These are classic anti-Semitism that God Jesus killed. Now, if you want to debate the murder of Jesus, I will do that in an instant, and you're going to lose. The Roman, the Roman historian Tacitus said clearly that we Romans did it. When you say that the high priest turned over Jesus, you forget there were two groups of, of Jews. There were Pharisees and Sadducees. The Pharisees were Jews like me. They looked like this. Yama Kabir, they were Orthodox. The Sadducees were Jewish sellouts, they Hellenized, they were the Roman party, and they hated Jesus because Jesus rejected Caesar. So you're even pointing, even, oh my God. Talking out of both sides of your mouth, so even as you're saying the Jews had nothing to do with it, you have to create a second, like a separate section of Jews that were responsible for it, but they were Roman, like it. It's a the double speak is amazing. He has to invent a set. No, there was another group of Jews, that, but they were Romans. Uh, Lark just said, "R.I.P. North Carolina basketball." I guess I lost that bet too tonight, huh? Is it over? Is the game over? Did the Tar Heels lose? Fucking faggots. He rejected Nero. He rejected Roman rule, which is why the Romans gave him a political death. The Romans learned crucifixion. Lost by two. God damn it. And from the Carthaginians, from Hannibal, it was not a religious death. It was a political death. And the Romans tortured him because he wouldn't accept the rule of Rome. So I, I wrote a whole book about this called Kosher Jesus. Oh, I want to punch. I want to punch. I've never wanted to punch a fucking Jew in the face more. That it's a psyop. I'm not taking the bait. I am not taking the bait. Don't take the bait. Don't take the bait. This guy is a magnet for people. He wants everyone to nuke their platforms. Reacting to him. I'm not doing it. I'm not giving it to you. I'm not giving it to you. I'm not giving you my platform, Shmuley. His name, Rabbi Shmuley, it, it, it's like, it's like, it, the whole thing is just so by design. I want to beat the shit out of this guy. I really want to so beat many of the your shit viewers out of this guy. Who are religious Christians, who are indeed authentic, authentic evangelical Christians. They I want to beat the shit out of this guy. By the way, my last hope tonight, right now, is is fucking, uh, since the Tar Heels lost, they're done. Uh, the Predators are going to lose. They're fucking me tonight. I'm done. I'm pretty much fucked. Other than the Dallas Stars, maybe? They know the Bible says that the Jews will be blessed that those who bless Israel will be blessed. The reason you're not blessed, Alex Jones, the reason you're bankrupt, the reason that you've had the whole country, anyone who's sane turn again. Hey, hey, Shmuley, I know you're equating human worth to money because, well, because you're Jewish. I can tell you this. When it comes to having a legacy... When it comes to being loved by people who have, who have known him, when it comes to leaving behind 
a, 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 a legacy worth remembering. Alex Jones has been and always will be infinitely more rich than you. I know you equate everything to money, but Alex Jones will never want for anything, even if they take every dime from him. People are going to love him. People love him so much that his kids will be cared for. See, you know, you guys like your little tribe, right? So in our little tribe, we have a tribe too, and we take care of our own tribe. Alex Jones, Chuck Norris Gun Club, yeah, he has four children and a loving wife. He has a legacy. He won't be, he won't die alone. And when Rabbi Shmuley dies, a couple of people are going to come around at the temple and have a little shot of Manischewitz in your honor. But it's going to be a very thin, very, very thin room. Not a lot of people. When Alex Jones dies, the internet, it, we're gonna, it's going to be the internet equivalent of when Reagan died. To quote Lewis Black when they talked about the Ray, when he talked about the Reagan funeral, he goes, it went on for like four days. He goes, it went on for so long. I thought they were burying him with spoons. <laughs> Alex Jones is going to get some Ronald Reagan level shit when he's dead. A lot of us, true true disciples of Christ are going to, from coast to coast, take a moment out of their day and pour out a little Irish whiskey and they're going to honor somebody that meant a lot to them for decades. And you're going to be the shady butt plug selling hand rubbing fucking psycho Jew troll bait. Uh, Jim Edwards said, same thing when Ron Paul dies. When Ron Paul dies, Ron, Ron, I'll put it this way, to equate Ron Paul to somebody, Ron Paul, when he dies, he'll be the political Patrice to me. There's very few like comedians and entertainers that die where I go, damn. Like The last one was Carl Weathers. Carl Weathers fucked me up. Like, I'm, I try not to be a fucking mark. Like, I really do. Like, I, I am a mark. I, and I lean into it. That's because you're a mark. What a mark. <laughs> you fucking mark. But, like, when these celebrities and these people die now, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I liked his movies. He was cool, whatever. But there's very few people that when they go, I'm like, it hurts. Uh, Patrice O'Neill. Fez Watley. Norm. Uh, Ron Paul will be my political Patrice. Yeah, Kevin Samuels was a shitty one too. Uh, but it didn't really fuck me up because I just discovered Kevin Samuels and I was like, damn, he was cool as fuck. That's too bad. But I'm talking about somebody that like meant something to me. And yeah, Ron Paul is my political Patrice. Like when Patrice died... That was a day where I remember specifically going, damn. And I sat down on a chair and I just stared at a wall for like 10 minutes. Like I knew the guy and I didn't. I didn't know Patrice. Uh, I've told the story. I was I was at the same, I was at, I think it was Broadway Comedy Club or it might have been Stand Up New York. I was at the same club as Patrice one time and he was holding court and I had a chance to walk up to him and like say hello and I'm a big and I just didn't I was so fucking scared of him I went up to Dave Attell and like Jim Gaffigan and all these other people like Brian Reagan like oh yeah big fan man I like your shit cool man yeah very nice hey, cool can I get a picture um Patrice was the only one that I just looked at him from across the room and I went, nah. <laughs> but yeah, Ron Paul will be my 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 political Patrice. When I when they when they go, Ron Paul dead at ninety two, I'm just gonna go fuck man.
against you is because you have lost the blessing of God. Because you justify the murder of children, you say it's fictional. You lie about Israel and you give the Jews no right to defend themselves. You lie and say that the IDF actually has soldiers shooting little uh, Palestinian children. and They are. And bombing them and dropping white phosphorus on them. It's been proven. There's numbers. Just like your numbers that you love to talk about from the 40s. Well, we have numbers too. And you're 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 murdering a lot of kids bragging about it what kind of and that the idf authenticated the videos where illinois one didn't they motherfucker and i wanted to bet on them because they were winning me money all season but they were the under where do you come up with this crap and i'm asking you a simple question forget me little rabbi shmooley five six and by the way if you have kind, some kind of powder that can make me grow another foot in a month sell it to me now or give it to me as a gift for coming on for free on your fucking dallas stars better turn it around because that's my last bet tonight dallas stars are gonna save me on your program okay but but forget me don't you fear god have you no fear of god whatsoever as a christian all right well, can i respond now because you said a lot there of course um of course we reaching by the way i love rabbi shmuley going on alex jones and being unhinged and Alex being like, can I finish? Can I make my point now? Uh, Kanakistani, I love you, buddy. Hey, Kanakistani, like all due respect. But we have been saying this for years. And, and, and Adonis Paul would agree on his side. That if, I, if my show came on like after his and it was like I was just running a little late. He was running a little late. You announcing that his show is on in my chat. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to screenshot this and I'm going to make sure that you're shamed by him because we all agree that people that do this should be shamed, right? So I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to screenshot it with the time and everything on my little system tray. And I'm going to send this. I'm going to send that to AP. And AP is going to like you just a little bit less he's still gonna like you but he and i have both very publicly for years agreed on the air that to go into somebody's thing and promote the other guy like i love ap ap's my bro and i want you to go watch ap but when you're promoting like he will be if I saw one of these fat, if I saw one like on the John, I'm just looking at names: Kelonius, Chuck Norris, Gun Club, uh, uh, Jim N Word, uh, uh, Dan Snot, if I, Antipathy. If I saw any of these people, if I saw a screenshot of any of these people in AP's chat, telling everybody, "Yo, guys, Mersh is on in a few." I would absolutely rip you to fucking shreds the next night on the show. Don't do that. AP doesn't want you to do that. I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to do it for me in AP chat. I don't want anybody. It's one thing when somebody's wrapping up. That's one thing. If you're wrapping up, you know what I mean? If it's fucking four in the afternoon and you're doing a stream and at the end of the stream, people are like, yo, RTC's about to go live. We done. We're wrapping up here. But you literally just announced that AP's going live as I'm still talking and I'm about to wrap it up. But you didn't know that. Nobody knew that. I didn't even know that until I looked at the clock just now and I will wrap up. But you're a fucking faggot, nigger, kike, spick, loser, gook, piece of shit. You're subhuman. You're garbage. Kanakistani, I hope you fucking die of cancer within the month. I hope you die of cancer before Medicare. So I can make my point about how Medicare doesn't really have cancer. Um, you suck. Don't ever do that again. We have discussed on every show for years how when you do that, you're a dick. You're the asshole. And now I'm going to show, I'm going to have to, now I have to show Adonis Paul what an asshole you are. And now you're not cool here and you're not cool there. Now you're just not cool guy. I hope that feels cool. Not cool guy. But it's like, dude. 
enough. Enough. It, 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 it's, we don't do that to each other. Go watch AP if you want to. Whatever. I don't care. Enjoy. Go watch Virgie afterwards. He's going live as well. Um, I support Kevin Scampoli. He's probably live too. Um, I have a lot of friends that go live at midnight. And I don't have beef with any of them. And I, I try to make sure everybody's happy and whatever. We don't interrupt our friendship. We don't, we don't send people on behalf of our community into other chats to derail the show to talk about how they're fucking live. You spamming faggot. Kanakistani is a fucking faggot loser. I just want you to know that. You're a faggot loser. And AP would agree with me. You did something that is in good faith towards AP. And AP would read that and go, you're a fucking faggot. Don't ever do that again. Let's get out of here. I'm mad now. I'm in a bad mood now. I'm in a bad mood and it's Kanakistani's fault. I want everyone in the community to know that. Mighty Megatron for two. Are you talking about AP for Liberty? No. Yeah. Austin Peterson can keep stealing memes and being a midget faggot and not getting any policy done. True Wolf nine for five. Jesus was not a Jew. He was the first Christian. Yeah. That, that, look, don't tell that to a Jew. They, they love to claim Jesus. And then they also love to secretly go, Jesus is burning and shit come uh, bubbling shit come lava because they're Jewish they're Jewish and I hate to break that to them but yeah they're Jewish sorry guys you're Jewish and it's gross uh let's see we did 203 tonight we're at white boy summer I think we did some coffees uh I think we did like what 10 in coffees um wait no we got one more ko-fi that came through let's see here tigernit thank you for 50 doll hairs thank you uh seriously fuck this guy that's all i got christos vos vos Chris? vos Chrissy? i don't know like I, I gotta i would have to google i would have to make google make the ai do the sound for me for that but um, I'm, I'm assuming you're saying Christ is king in some other language, which, by the way, stop saying Christ is king. That's a meme. Everybody who says Christ is king is a fake Christian. You're just doing it for the fucking... Inst you're doing it for the gram, as the kids say, and you're a faggot, so don't do that. So we did... Um, Okay, so we yeah we did a uh, two sixty three tonight. That's not bad. Uh, we we're, we're gonna do some white boy summer. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go get some sleep because I'm exhausted. Um, if I can do this. Oh, thank you. Um, by the way, you notice less whiny Marge. Less whiny. She's not in heat right now, and it's great. And she's actually getting, she's starting to get comfortable. She's starting to not whine and need as much. Like, she's starting to be like, all right, this is my house. I can do stuff without rush. But she's doing good. Uh, bad luck, boys. Follow them on YouTube. I'm trying to grow that channel, and it's hard. Uh, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, it's Friday tomorrow, so you got ROTC, you got Day Wave, 10 a.m., ROTC at 4 p.m., Night Wave at 10 p.m., Friday Night Free for All, Stick Sex and M, our dance party. And who knows? Maybe there's more Crowder drama. Who knows? This has been a great week. You guys have been amazing. I love you guys. I love the mods. AP is live, as Kanakistani told us. Uh, Adonis Paul is live. Virgie is going live. He's going to be playing Hitman. There's all kinds of great shit happening and unfolding. And I'm out of here. I'm going to go feed these stupid cats. And uh, I need to eat. I haven't eaten anything tonight. Uh, guys, take care of you well. I'm going to go watch the internet. You guys watch the skies. Uh -huh.